Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a little video using some products from ColourPop. I'm going to use some other products as well because I don't have everything ColourPop, but I'm going to try and make the majority of them ColourPop. I did film a Get Ready With Me video recently and I used some CoverGirl products and that video was definitely challenging for me. I don't personally like Get Ready With Me videos, but I thought this would be a fun way to show you the new products, see how they perform, etc, etc. I'm going to not talk during this video, so I'm just going to put the names of the products I use on the screen. Just going to try something new, see how it works out. Let me know your feedback, of course, in the comments and without further blabbering, let's get into it. This is the shade Boozy. I'm just going to place that in my crease. Top down. And on the other corner. shade gridlock. I'm going to go into this blue called Earl of Grey and just tap that on. It's like a matte blue, so I'm just going to use it on the deeper part. And I'm going to put this more shimmer on just to make it more vibrant. This shade reminds me so much of the Super Shock Shadow in Coconut. I've done that eyelid and I want to do the soul look on this eye. I just thought it would be fun to do like a two-tone look. So I'm going to use this palette on this eye. I'm using the shade, ooh. This is the shade Motel. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. I don't even have to boil it. I'm just using my finger and tapping that on the whole lid. That's just gonna be like an easy, monochromatic look. I don't even want to do anything else to it. I just want to leave it just like that. It's so vibrant. Shade Detour as my brow one highlight. Put a little sheen to it. Nothing too crazy. Look! Going in with the Club Up Primer Water. Now I want to show you guys the Color Pop Foundation.
Okay guys, so I did bring you in a little bit closer so you can examine this look. I like to film further away because the last Get Ready With Me I did, I had my camera fully zoomed in and a lot of times like I was ducking to use my mirror and my whole face was cut out so I'm going to try and have you guys at a certain distance just so you can see what's going on. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, I'm really curious. Okay, so first impressions on the sole and the Mar palette, I love the packaging that they did with these. I think these are so cute. I think they're gonna be so fun for summertime and travel. If you're going to the lakes and stuff like that, this is gonna be really fun. I am obsessed with these two shades. They're the ones I use to create this eye look. It's just two eyeshadows in this eye. And then this one is really cute too. I love that they threw in some pops of blue. I'm obsessed with the size of these. These are so convenient and they're just cute. So overall, I think they're definitely worth checking out. And that's pretty much all I have to say about those right now. As far as the ColourPop foundation, I have had it for a while. I've been wearing it for a while. They told me my shade match would be 145, which is dark, which is supposed to be like the equivalent of NC35, I believe, or something like that, or NC40 maybe. And it does work for me, but I did buy a darker shade. I bought dark 155 for the summer because I do tan quite easily at this time of the year. I think this is a good foundation. It's definitely very matte. If you have dry skin, you're probably not going to love it. There's some days it's very comfortable for me if I use like my Sunday Riley oil and stuff like that. But like today, I can definitely feel it a little bit more heavy on my skin because I did not use any oils before putting this on. Is it the worst foundation in the world? Absolutely not. Is it something that you need to like run out and buy? Also, no. Uh, it doesn't last very long but that I think is relative for everyone everyone I personally like my makeup to last like a whole work day I don't think it lasts that long but it's not terrible if you guys are interested in trying it I have a really hard time giving like full reviews on foundations because I don't know my mind can change too um, as far as the lip gloss and the lip the blotted lip I used I used the blotted lip in the shade Zuma, I love these ultra blotted lips as well as the blotted lips. They did just come out with some new shades with their summer line. I didn't buy any of those because I was like, I don't need more liquid lipsticks or lipsticks or anything, but I love these. They're so nice at creating that popsicle effect. And I love to wear them with a lip gloss. And this one is Neat Freak from the Makeup Shayla collection. Super cute lip combo, really nice and neutral. I have always been a fan of color pops. No filter concealer, as you guys can see, I've made a huge dent in this one. I'm almost out of it. And I wear the shade Tan 50, sometimes I wear 45, I think, too. So love that stuff. And then what else did I use? I did use some of the MAC Strobe Cream in this one. This is a nice product. Desi Perkins has constantly recommended this on her channel. Even if you aren't wearing makeup, just throw some of this on and it gives you an instant glow. So I love that. Now the face palette I used actually contains some ColourPop powders that I had actually depotted and I haven't used this in a while so I just opened this up today and something's up with the bronzer it had just like crumbled so I don't know if it is expired that's probably the explanation for that so I wanted to film this video and then I'm gonna go ahead and dump this particular pan but I did use a blush as a bronzer and then I used the corresponding highlight as well which I think turned out really beautiful. These are some of their blushes and highlights that they sell in those rectangular packaging. Um, these are the Makeup Geek contour shades that I have and this is a MAC blush that I have. So yeah, this is like a, a face palette that I created just using ColourPop and clearly I haven't used it in a while because I didn't even know that shit had like completely shattered but I wanted to try and use as many ColourPop face products as I could. I also used the ColourPop Eyebrow gel, I do like that. I don't really like their brow pencils or their brow pomade, and I don't like their eyeliners. I bought a bunch of them when they first came out and they all exploded on me, which was a pain in the ass. The other thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is in this bottle, I do have a ColourPop primer water. They came out with some like crystal inspired like setting sprays, and I have one of those in here. I did not like the packaging that they had it in. It was a glass bottle with a sprayer, but the sprayer was awful. So it would just shoot like chunks of water onto my face. So I just bought a glass bottle on Amazon 
and I do actually like it. I wouldn't repurchase. I actually bought all four of them. So I finished up, I'm pretty sure I finished one up and now I'm working on this one and I have two left. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get through those. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video kind of using all ColourPop products, some of our first impressions. Some of these products are like my go-to products when it comes to ColourPop. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.